episode 2 out of time. So let's uh, get this started. I finished uh, episode 1 Chrysalis, as you see there. So I'll probably have to press continue or go play episode. Ah, play episode. So we're going to girls' dormitory. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Oh, Max? damn. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to they get wiped out by a tornado. Grass. Max, tell me everything. Why do we call it weed? Episode 2 out of time. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it, it's copyrighted this music. I'll probably have to remove it due to copyright issues. Superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Yeah. Sure is. Like I said, always for you. Now you mojo, sad face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Don't be late. Or name me time is not on your way. After all you did, let your step dog bust me. On my way. You're evil. 40 minutes somewhere else. Is that death reading? Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Yeah, when she death threats you like that, or good trips you like that. Now that I fully 
Someone said that I see Warren. It's fine. Okay, that's totally cool. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Oh, hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Uh. Oh, hello, zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Yeah, I get the feeling. This is set up shells. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I'm so on it. Consider it done. Sherry's like her butler. No offense, but she's like, literally like Victoria's butler. 24-7. Okay, what do I have to do? Okay. To find a what the what the fuck's that? A carrot? A sun? Fire walk with me? Donut? Dog bone? 142? A dough? A gun? Science laboratory and some kind of person standing near the window. Okay, seems pretty interesting. Fine, I won't disturb you. And Victoria went open the door for you. Ow! Ah! Alyssa's always getting thrown things at her. She's like cursed. Okay. Let's just take that back. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. This action will have consequences. Okay. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus say. of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Ooh. Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. You know what? I'm gonna make her jealous. <laughs> Ain't no one's gonna stop me. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Hmm. Let's just put something there for Kate. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. Hey, there's the whole tagger. Hey, you, there. Stop right there. Hey. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. Stop them. Big I pots. I think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros? Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. What the? Everybody's seen it by now. Say that again. Kate making on some. Ugh. If that's true, then. Ugh, Kate. I don't know what's wrong with you. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. 
I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Yeah, and I'll be able to take a shower. Ah, it's not showing Rex's boobies. Ah, oh, damn it. What's a guy gotta do like to see me? No offense, but I thought Kai was hot, but Mex is hot too, so I need to see those boobies. What's up, Kate? School. That's it. Oh. That video of you clubbing didn't people. look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Ugh. She still hasn't let her go. God damn it, woman. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's Ugh. leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. Maybe I, I should have just played her in episode one. Maybe there must be a reason. <laughs> hey, what's what's that weird sight on that mirror? Something Kate's VIP dot com. Ooh, let's go and have a look. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm one of the C Mix movies. Oh, well, I better get dressed then go give back Kate's book. Tampon the Sminzer. I'm good to flow. Thanks. If I turn on the sink, see what happens. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Oops. My bad. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. I should look that up. Uh, www.katesvip.com I'll look it up probably after um, after this uh, broadcast gameplay. But I'll Even if it. I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yeah, well, Max, I'm going to watch it to see what it looks like. To see if it's a real sign. Rachel is a whore. Sounds like Victoria or whatever. They would have written that. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Oh, that didn't sound pleasant. Maybe I should keep keep on moving back about Warren. Make you jealous. Yeah. Maybe I should go and get changed before talking to them. No, wait. I'll just talk to them. 
Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Oh, I convinced someone not to watch that thing. Ooh, pills. No, we're not touching. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. With your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big <laughs> on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? I'm gonna rub it into the peeve tides. Yeah. Let's do it. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. That would be a total a-hole to Chloe and going all the way with Warren. I just want to see what happens if you keep picking Warren like over Chloe. Now I'm going to sound a bit, uh, a bit rude. But I uh, just want to see what happens if you go Warren all the way. Ah. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Damn, someone's threatening Max. Oh shit, Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. He must have cut it out and put it... Ugh, okay, that is deceiving. Let's just put that away. <sighs> well, at least I got time on my hands. No book here. Is it over here? <sighs> ah. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Ah, you got butterfingers, Max. All right, time to use my powers. Nicely done. Be gone, foul soft drink. That's Aha, you doing. sneaky book. You're mine. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. They're saying that Warren's supposed to spy on me from the window. I don't see any spying from Warren. Okay, they must be lying. Keith Tars, why are you lying? Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week, and he couldn't even rewind time. Mm, true that. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Whew. I could get lost doing time travel research. 
me and the search engine have become one. If only I could be this focused on homework. Yeah, I don't see Warren peeking around that corner on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see nothing. I'm standing here in an awkward position. It's playing the music while I walk out. Private number. Okay, this is not good. Keep your keep your smart mouth shut about everything. Or I'm coming for your ass. I know we sleep. That's just weird. Oh shit! Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. This has to be from Nathan, but it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Yeah, I thought Warren was that weird, but it looks like um, Nathan's a bit more weirder. Kate? Hey, I can hear you crying. In there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Thank you. Uh, I'm getting a bad vibe from this room. Sort of sadness. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. I'm gonna have a look at around the room because it says you can save Kate on um what but Kate really has a doting father. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. One achievement. Ooh, hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. That's Jesus. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Kate, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that video tape. And like a Jesus bill, uh, you released your harlot, harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with your, uh, with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Kate, your auntie's a bit weird. I didn't even understand what that just said. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Mm. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Mm, something must have made you sad. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all you who are all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, a terror to the evil. I don't understand the Bible because I don't go to the church. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. 
Huh. I don't believe in church. That's weird. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Safe, not sorry. Hmm. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. <clears throat> call us. Kate, your father and I just received a, a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seems justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you, you, on you or our family. We'll pray for you and keep and expect you to pray forgiveness. Ah, they're not really helpful with your family. They're just bringing her down a bit more. I know, I know they mean good, but. I already looked that in. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Ah, she's got her own best friends. Quite snappy. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Mm, yeah, she's not smiling. Let's talk to her. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video. Okay. Okay. Did okay. Okay. You? It just sucks. I remember. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Don't get sassy, Go on. With you, woman. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott. Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall yeah. is driving for a He's long time. He's the opposite time. from nice to douchebag. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital Scumbag. because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And, 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 that's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. 
This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here, near my bag. Damn. Damn, Kate. You've been through a hell of a lot of shit. Oh, damn. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Yeah, sure, Absolutely, shoot. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Mm. Okay. Um, even though I would like to go to the police, but the Prescotts own the town. So that ain't not a good idea to go to the police. So I hope you don't bite my head off. I'm going for the other answer. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Ugh, damn it. God damn it. I was trying to help. God damn it, woman. You're getting too sassy with me. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, I sure got, um... I sure got the tail end off then. Uh, they're saying to search something around here. Something to do with the family. Uh. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Uh, I forgot how to save Kate. Um, drawing. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and... Positive. Mm. Yeah, I better go out of Kate's room. That room's got bad running over it. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. God, that was a pleasant text. Max, food, two hours, see you there. Don't hear your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. Yeah, that wasn't even a, a text, a proper text. That was just a short text. Max, food, see you there. Ooh, Stella's room. Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. Damn, Max. That was cruel saying that to Samuel. No, I must agree, Samuel is a bit weird. Ah, Warren's waiting. I didn't see Warren stalking Max behind the wall. I don't know if that was... Skip on The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. 
That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. There was a pleasant uh, conversation with Samuel. Can I run? I'm running, everyone. See me running. Um, no, let's see me running. Ooh. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident, and too easy to sneak into. Yeah, some might sneak down and chop someone's head off. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Mm. Seems like this Rachel's a... I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Okay. Water X. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. And she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hmm. Seems like this Rachel knew a lot of people. She's a I get around person. And it can be dangerous sometimes. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. I'll probably have to walk away. Ah, there we go. Keep going, squirrel. Keep going. Nearly there. Yes. I can take a photo of you. Yes! Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Ooh, I've got an achievement. Okay, fire walk with me, bald bone. It looks like the whales and sun. 142 though, gun shooting, science lab, and some person standing near the window. Okay, these are the achievements I have to get. I'm running, I'm running! Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice oh, to Victoria damn. doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack <clears throat> talk, let's just talk. 
For Smack once, talk. you're Let's funny. just talk. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Oh, come on now. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Yeah, like I guess I've friends. had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Oh, damn. That conversation just ended. And we're gonna talk more. Oh, one time back. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Mm. So that means if I have made friends with Taylor, then that must mean... Shit! The window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. Yeah, it broke, it broke the window and it's cruel. What a cruel world that you live in, Max. Ah. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers, uh, lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. By the way, thanks before we're not friends. Oh, damn. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Okay, that can get Max, a little bit come mean. Come on over here. Warren, destroy this dormitory. Destroy the Prescott um, dormitory. Yeah, he can't. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old Should've friend, said a, just a Chloe part. Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Hmm. I'm gonna rub it into the pee of tarts, and I'm gonna rub it into Brock. I'm sorry, price your fans, but I'm just gonna have to go for it. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. Right. Okay, anything I need to take a pitch off anything? No, 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 no. Let's take the bus.
David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Evans on the bus. Brace yourself, everyone. We're going on the bus. Let's sing this song. Wheels on the bus go around and around. Okay. Take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I'm gonna be a millionaire so fucking bad. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I hope you've gotten a million in tickets so I can steal off you. No, okay. That's that's been no that's been from hero to zero. Hi. Yeah, been not doing that. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Ah, oh, climbing game. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Okay. I wonder if I can walk down there. I'm walking down there. I'm walking down there. I don't there. want to go that way. Damn it. I can't walk down here. God damn it, Max. Bitch, I can beat this one. Hey, I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. Okay. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay. End the man-made drought in the bay. Okay. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. 
That sounds like has Frank's the town voice. changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Hmm. Interesting about the Prescotts. It seems like the Prescotts have a lot of power over the, the town. RV and... Ah, oh, man! Not that dog! Okay, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going! I'm getting my walk on! Me, dog bone, one forty two. Though, shoot gun, science laboratory, and oh, chemistry, and something like that. And someone's standing near the window. I need to get okay. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Everyone, we're having snow. We just service baffled by snow and a rare admission the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay. Blah blah this week. Okay, what's this telling that news? Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Hey, I love this town. Don't mock my town. It looks like Lincoln, but it's still in good condition and yeah, there's a homeless person. But hey, the town's all right. No problem with it. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How do you? I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly do. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. 
greedy bastards that ruin this town, put people out of work, out of home, like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Hmm. You mean David Madsen? His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Oh damn. Homeless lady is gonna go ape on him if um, Joyce um, gets mistreated from David. She's gonna karate chop him. Ooh. Ah, yes, I can take a photo. I just need to find six more things. Oh, photos. Okay. That's why I'm taking long on my game play. I'm just trying to find all these. Ooh, maybe I can steal this car. No, but not. Okay, in I go. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Man, I was only 13. Only 13. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Why? Ah, oh, Prescott's again. Yeah, and the fire... I rent a house, I'm not renting in. Not by a press gun. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Bye. 25th annual Happy Halloween Bazaar. Major blah 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 costume parade. Saturday, October 27th. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Main Street, Arcadia Bay. Great pumpkin craving contest. Local vendors and food trucks. Treats, uh, treats, uh, treats and uh, tricks and treats. Sorry. Oh, and Happy Halloween. Yeah, that's not really much of a good pamphlet. A uh, good advertisement if you want to promote the event. Quite catchy, but... Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, I'm trying to be polite here. Don't make me come slap you. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> hey, that's more like it. This weird lady's got a bit of an example in this guy. You need to learn from her. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Hey, this is pretty catchy, this music. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Yeah, I'm running around the campus with guns. Pretty scary thought. And what was that about Kate Marsh? Kate Marsh, love you long time. That's what we need to see. Good messages like that. Uh, 
That graffiti has been here forever. Flush before passing on four. I can't read that. I something to misbehave. Can't read that. Ar Archaea gay sucks dick. Thank you, redneck poet. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. Arcadia gay sucks dick means meaning sucks dick. Okay, that was pretty catchy there. Ooh. Gross. Rachel A owes me a blow job. So does your mum. That is not very good. Ooh, I took a picture of this. No, I don't. Now I'm just being weird, standing in an awkward position. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Polite, Hello, yeah. sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Ooh. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. That was a nice answer. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Ah. Oh. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? Let's be mean. Not really. That's good. She's not a bad person. She's had hard Ooh, times, but damn. there's no excuse for burning things. I know her dad died. My dad died when I was 13. I never burned garbage cans or tagged signs. Joyce is a great mother. Chloe just isn't paying attention. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. God damn, Chloe, you always get in trouble. God damn it, woman. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Mm. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Hmm. Joyce, Joyce rules. rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Ah, god damn it, man. I'm trying to have a good conversation with him. You just shut me down. You know what? I don't care. 
What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, Ooh, school bad girl? Boy. School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. See you later too, Justin. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Dana's room? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Well, tell you about that. Oh, I like this music. I'm leaving it. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Yeah, I will be. Yeah, how long Promise. Though? I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Yeah, she's a I see why, bomb. I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Mmm. I want some bacon. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady, Stapp. 
Making it 12 o'clock high. I know this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Order ready. Oh man, Rex, you're beating your pal. No you be using it for good. What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Oh, damn it. Oh, and Max, together here again. Here comes the time, Mom. Oh, and Chloe it. looking for yeah, a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue Thank me. Thank you, Jonas. Unless oh, you set your room on your fire smoking out. Mother, Chloe. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one Chloe, damn slice of bacon your mom. a day. Respect your mum. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Aye, 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 aye. What is this shit on the jukebox? Far, hey, that's pretty catchy. Go change it. Ah, oh, damn it. Now that that's out of the way. Boat. This music sucks. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Hmm. This is all happening so I fast. I will not show you. Start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. We'll see about that, then. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Hmm, okay. I've got bad memory, so I'm just gonna have to write this down. Okay, I got it. Yes, yes. Cool. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Oh, so this is me too telling much. you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Cigars. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money. Mm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 
86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. <clears throat> but what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34. a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. I got powers. You can use them. Only oh, I can balls. use them. I literally just got chills all over my neck. I think you this was powers. when Max became a I'll take scumbag. that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, yeah. Mom. Listen to her. Listen to your mom, Chloe. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict this the is, future. This is no, no game for this, Chloe. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Song out this is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Uh. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. <laughs> yeah, I've been outside then. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Ah, oh, damn it. A space fl fl uh, place fly. Oh, wait. What's that right? Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. Yeah. I do have to be careful this is how I use it. God damn it. Of course it's a toy. No, the it best isn't. Toy ever. You're not listening. You can God damn it. No strings attached. Rewind time and boom! It's like it never happened. No, Grow it up. ain't gonna happen like that. Grow up. Maybe you God made a move it, on woman. me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We yeah, have to play. But we have to have use it for. A being a hero. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? No, it's hey, Chloe. you okay? God damn, you're excitement. a demon. Get away from me, woman. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. No. You need a sidekick to guide you. No. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Ah, Max, what are you doing? God damn it. 
Stop being a scumbag. I need to change some music. I need some music. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Nah. It just made me distracting. It just made me. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Yeah, let's look at this. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, no. It ain't. Ooh. Drool. Want everything. Yeah, Max, that easy one. We are on climb I think house. I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stopping up for winter. Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. K-Bay 7 News. Oh. That's very cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't uh, even answer. We have places to go no. and... I had to answer this. Come on, before be cool. Mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Yeah, I'm gonna answer. You have been coming a douchebag, Chloe. I ain't gonna listen to you. This is my town. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Now, I wonder why Rachel left you. You got a bad action, woman. You need change. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Well, I guess Chloe, as uh, logic, um, is like this. Logic and development attracts uh, Chloe Tards. XD. Oh, who's that watching? Oh man. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. <sighs> Welcome to American You're Rust, your my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. No, no. I don't want to have fun with you. You're too evil, Chloe. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not <sighs> in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with the test. No. I use my power. Drink? You can't Yuck. tell me what to do. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Why don't you? God damn it. God damn it, woman. Ask me in five fine bottles for you. 
This should be easy. I got it. Oops. Bottle. Fail. There. Yeah. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Hello, bottle number one. Another bottle. Boom. Only three bottles left. Okay. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. So right now I'm Dr. Who or Doc Brown for what class n never got any call time science homework and I know this shit I'll explain in details later if you actually help me Okay, so they're talking about like movie, uh, talking about Texas and like all these cool ass movies to do with science, like sci-fi. Getting my DeLorean, DeLorean ready. We are going so eight. Now I've got 60 miles, so we should leave around five. I drive. How you? We will ride in your, uh, we will, we will, in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive and maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever, anyway, go out too late. Yes. It's going right, yes. That dough is the perfect photo op. I'm gonna ship Warren and Max in this, uh, in my whole gameplay. Chloe's just, ugh. I can't stand Chloe. She's too sassy. Okay. There we go. Four more pictures to go. Well, that's not hard to find. Now I'm running. Look how fast I'm running. I can run, I can keep running forever. Car wreck. Got it. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. I'm sure this is a popular party pit.
Yes. Eat shit and die. Thanks for the tip. I uh, eat shit and the not die. It must have been Rachel's um the same. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Copyright music, copyright music. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? One more bottle to go. Ouch. Fuck you, yes you. Okay. No problem there guys, I'm not a song. Max, sorry to bother you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people, uh, let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is, that is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess. But thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend, and you delivered. I'm on, I'm on your side. Yes. I must have you, Kate. I'll be there for you. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Yeah, well, you don't want to be in that uh, position. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. Show it to her! Show it to her! You can tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging my ass to give it to you. Maybe I just want you to f find it when I'm not around so we never have to talk about it and I don't want you to hate me. Where to start? I met somebody recently who's uh, who's so different from the lame Vortex Club snobs. I know you all have a meltdown <coughs> when I tell you when he's gross. I swear he's wise and unconventional, kind of scary. Not in a bad boy way. He's just experienced some serious sh shit. Yes, I'm kind of obsessed. S I C. I won't blame you for uh, freaking. Maybe I know you're right, and this and this just has to be my secret. I hate not sharing this with you, except I know you'll give me that sink eye. Grill me every stupid detail. If I even told you that last night we hooked up near the campus. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Looks like Rachel was uh definitely hooking up with people in um around the campus. Around Chloe's back. Huh. I wouldn't blame her. Ah, look at that. 
Rachel won one game and Chloe didn't win. Maybe she was destined to lose. Oh. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Hmm. Oh, this is the other bottle. Syringes. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Those shells look fresh. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. There we go. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. The Bigfoots were here. Bigfoot. Run, 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 run. Okay. I got four stuff to find. But how's it? One forty-two. Ah, uh, who cares? Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Ah. Max, really? you have to help me aim. Okay. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Ah, oh, Chloe. You wasted Amy. God damn it. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. There oh, we yes. go. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. Yes, I know, I know. That I was know. so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Ah. Now, Max, hey. where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Well. God damn it, Chloe. Damn it, you're yes. worse at shooting. Where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that okay, is Okay, okay, okay. Let's Sit pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. What do you mean by creative? Give me something to shoot, Max. Ah. Uh, how about that? Um, how about that monitor? I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Ooh, that was cool. Old school. Yeah, that was kind of old school. Give me something to shoot, Max. Ah. Uh, how about that? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Ooh. Hello, yeah! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, okay. I need a target before I shoot. Um, how about the. How about tire? aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Ooh, 
uber cool. I yeah, keep a lock. This is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Ah, it's you, Max. You're on the phone the time, Max. I think what's happening uh, is that. Chloe's um, uh, doesn't know the uh, the consequences of um, using Max's uh, powers is that it's causing Max to have these um, side effects and to show it's what's going to happen there. to Arcadia Bay. Now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Ah, woman! You woman! You can't see what's gonna happen to Arcadia Bay. God damn, you're stupid. Ah, oh, that's what it is. Oh, 142 and some kind of thing. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you ah. can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. No, no, don't fuss me. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't oh. they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm oh, yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give Sorry. it to me right Settle. now, Settle. asshole. Settle you better step back before Ooh, you regret it, girl. Shit. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Hmm, I should have shot. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. God damn, Sorry, that's why you Chloe, don't bring a I've gun. I've never held a Chloe. gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. God damn, you have to try and reason There are more right guns there. out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. 
At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Natasha Pope, next. Natasha Pope. God damn it. Boom. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. I wonder why. So much of a friend. I can't believe you basically Training gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Yeah, don't now get you mad at me. me. To protect you. I'm just glad you were ah, here. Me next. too. I don't know what's happening. I think. God damn, you're too scum. Chloe, why the God hell damn. are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out. Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Hmm. Yeah. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The and sound fighting of the train dying whistle at Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Damn woman. The train. Oh shit. Really? Oh, shit. I can definitely use this bad boy. Oh, 
Vení. Ah, te meto. Ah, I said get that plies. God damn it. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Nothing can do. Oh, okay, uh, what can I slice with this? Improvise, Max. Improvise. Yeah. In and out, no problem. Oh. Right. I'm just gonna put on pause, people. So it seems like Chloe has really gotten into some serious shit. Now she's going to die if I don't save her. Oh, man. Like things that get worse already. I can't even move it an inch. Ah, put in some, put some muscle into it, woman. Awesome, it's not locked. But which wire to cut? Read one. Now that's the right cable. Come on, Max! Hurry! Get me out of here, Max! I don't want to use this axe. Ah. Good lord, Max. She's not a zombie. Find another way. God damn it, woman. You put me in this position. Ah. I can't even move it an inch. Ah, I see that now. Damn it. I can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? We're gonna watch you die. God damn it, Chloe. <laughs> it's all your fault you had to die. God damn it. <laughs> We're using Max's power. See what this Damn. does. Something is blocking the drum. <sighs> ah. God damn it. Where's your muscles, woman? Uh, score. It's gonna have to go in there again. Nice. Nothing's in there. Ah. Climax, I hit the door. Oh, damn it. Something I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing something. Where am I missing? Oh shit. <coughs>
But which wire to cut? Now that's the right cable. Oh, I have to cut the red one and then... But which wire to cut? Red one and then do the... Now that's the right cable. Come on, Max! Yes, I did it! Oh, shit. You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Chloe, you... Oh. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was yeah, cool to spend nearly, time in your lair, but you nearly I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Uh, when you say forever, you're gonna die again. Chloe's like got written like death on her forehead. Like, Thanks for I am ride, death. Chloe. Right on time for Ah, oh, she's got school. Illuminati. Thanks God for coming with it. me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, uh, your yeah. rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. Hey, don't call me asswipe. situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Can't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like no. you said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. Yes. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Back in action just to see Chloe die again. Yeah, that's so much for action. Okay, this, this game is... I don't know. Like, we've seen Chloe, like, like, dying by Nathan, and then we'll see Chloe nearly dying by getting ran over by a train. It's like... I think this game is telling me something that I have a little time Chloe for Mr. Jefferson's has class, to die so in this game. I can do she was wondering. destined to die. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. And to move wells. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Max is going, I'm buttered. I am buttered. You're not gonna do anything. I am butthurt. Justin always looks stoned. No, he's stoned in love with someone. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Oh. 
Zachary. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? Zach. It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented, what more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. That's more like it, Zachary. Keep the good attitude going. I'd like it. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Hey, you care. I don't know. I'm I not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hmm, we'll see about that. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Ah, get away, butterfly. I know. It's causing, um, consequences. And he's doing his work. Got on you, Samuel. Keep up the good work. Oh, they got Apple phones. Hey, I got an Apple phone too. Nah. Mine's just kind of a Samsung. I just lied. Trevor surveys his domain. Domain. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. I don't fight with That's anyone all, anymore. Don't fight with me. I don't want to fight. I don't want to go there. I can imagine that. Ooh, I can see some texting going on. Hey, girl, daddy's home. Okay, that's weird. Sit down in science. I'm in the science lab now. I know. Scar's her kitty. See you soon. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Yeah, Luke's got some mean. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Ah, uh, he's getting into dust. That reminds me, I just Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. 
Oh, damn. Shots have been fired, people. Shots have been fired. Nothing's missing in my locker, which is good. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. Oh, My number one rule shot. of photography. Oh, and Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Uh... Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Hmm. Have you talked to her? Yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Uh... It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Who are uh -huh. you talking to, Jefferson? Sure, okay. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Hmm. Think, big brain, think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Hmm, let's see if it works. Weird science. Oh, damn it. I think I failed. can't be that hard. I'm gonna ask Miss Grant for something. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. 
and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Yeah, K Warren. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Oh, we got someone jealous in the background. Brooke, we need a moment. Me and Warren need a moment. Now just be quiet, woman. But first, let me take a selfie. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Yes! Peeves tiles on probably here. No! He's not cute! He's a stalker! Well... Did you hear it from Max? Max said it. He's fully on cute when he's in geeky mode. No, oh, science mode. What do you call it? Got the picture for Warren. Awesome. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Yeah, well. Yeah. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. What? What? What now? What? Did you just... God damn it. I'm stalking. God damn it, Brooklyn. You can't do that. It's called privacy. You must learn it. God damn it. Now Brooke's firing on me. Uh, this is not going to go down quite well. need to find one forty two. One forty two, one forty two, one forty two. One oh four. No three. Men's woman's. Poster. No academy. I can't go out. No. 
Six club. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, I know. That makes sense. Huh? Who are you talking out, Mark? Seriously, I have to hang up now. Yeah, because I'm spying on you. You can't I escape me. I have to go. What are you talking about? Spit it out. Because I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? It's Nathan. It's Nathan. Okay. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Vogue. Vogue. Dana, you are. I'm kind of doing do something you, now, Max. You look like ass. No, oh, Dana. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Don't worry, Max. I won't ask you again to pose for me. Please don't be offended. I feel like a dork when somebody talented asks me to pose. Trust me, I understand. I'd love to get a second chance at art history with you. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. I like it. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. What's that 142 for? No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson. Like he <sighs> gives a shit. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Bit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Yeah, I can hear you. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. I got Bionic I love kids. seeing I Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these away. magazine covers. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? <sighs> Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Uh, maybe, maybe Nathan did deserve to die. You deserve to die. I don't care about you. I'm gonna sit down and there's not gonna be any more pranks. Hopefully not. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Oh, there's the White Knight, Warren. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have a lot to cover today, and so yeah, little time I'll see you later, as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. 
Yeah. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world. For people to judge. Usually, people need something to... It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality. I guess Kate will miss class now. In the end, I'm worried about her. For participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Mmm. Is this for real? It's flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Yeah, let's run. Run, 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 run. Run. Oh. She can't die. She can't. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. See what's happened. The more that uh, Max's uh, Max depends on her rewind time power, it um, gives her side effects even more than side effects. Keep it gives her going, Max. You can do it. Forty-two. What the? Can I find one forty-two? Ah, who cares? Ah, I can't do this. Ah. I can do it. You can do it, Max. Yes. Gotta how to save Kate's life. 
I really want to say Kate Slime, so I'm just gonna have to um, do the cheats because I I went into Kate's room and I found out um, about um, what she's been going through, but it really didn't show him really much about um, Kate and stuff. Maybe it's in my diary. I'll look in my diary to see what. I don't really have much. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate. Please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Hmm. Things will get better. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate! Your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Hmm. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Ah. Woman, I was trying to help you. God damn it. Too dangerous for us. I need more time. I believe you, Kate. But it's dangerous for both of us if I get involved now. I told you exactly what happened. Well, it's too late to help, Max. Too late. Yes, I know I screwed up. I'm sorry, Kate. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Hmm. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. Okay. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Ah, Nobody! Woman! I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, really? 
God damn it. Oh. oh, damn, I forgot what the answer was. Shit. Fuck. Um. Suicide is a sin. I'm gonna say that. The answer's just changed. I think what happened because I went with a different answer, it, it sort of offset the answers. If I would have went to go with the police, it, it, the answers would have stayed the same, but I went with the different answers. Consequences uh, happen and it changes. And. Ah. Uh. I wish I would have read that, those things. Ooh, I can use these. Ah, oh, it's not helping me. Ah! Oh. Maybe I can go through here. Come to me, all you. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and and I will give you rest. When justice is done, it brings it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the. Oh, what does that mean? All you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I wish I would have read it. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the... I'm going to have to second guess this one. Hopefully this is the right answer. Oh my... Favorite char character hates gonna die. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! 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 No, Kate, damn it! Damn it, she's dead! No! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! God damn it, Kate, what did you do to it? God damn it! Oh, damn it! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened. Kate will probably Ms. have to be my second favorite character, and Warren is my first. Officer Barry but will be it, taking Kate. notes God for the official it. police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Mm. 
Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? <laughs> Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something <laughs> happened to her and you know it. How about we Damn. talk about you waiting this is going into an argument. That's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Ooh, Careful, shit. Mr. Prescott. This is going down. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. You're going down. I Press think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. I think I can use my power again. Hmm. I'm signing up. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Ah, oh, is it kissing us again? Ah, oh, damn it! God damn you, principal! You're kissing us um, with the Prescotts. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if... More people cared. Better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, that makes no I don't logical mean to sound sense. weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Here it is. Oh, no. Wait, is it? Oh, woo. Yes. 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 My favorite couple has happened. Great and feel forever. I think, I think, um, I think Warren wants to um, go rumble in the jungle with Max. You know what I mean? Uh, 
I know, this is copyright. Oh, so that's the end of episode two, Out of Time. Uh, that was interesting, really. Um, my favourite character died, uh, Kate, so I'm a bit saddened by that. Um, that I couldn't save my favourite character from diving, uh, dying. Sorry. Um, apart from that, um, this was a great uh, episode. Episode two was awesome. Um, you'll be seeing me on um, the next um, broadcast for episode 3 um, we don't know what's going to happen so I'll play the trailer um, let's do that now a sneak peek ah uh, yeah results forgot about that Seventy percent. 79% uh, so I was to try and shoot Frank. Um, I can't see that you couldn't see, uh, you couldn't save Kate uh, percentage because I'm um, broadcasting at the moment. Um, you blamed David, 13%, uh, but I picked, you blamed Nathan, 73%. Okay. You watered your plant 69%. You helped Alyssa 57%. You erased the link to Kate's video 93%. You were friending with Taylor. Uh, it, it, it's got to, it has to be you weren't friendly with Taylor. You accepted Warren's invitation. Have to? Because I'm a huge Greenfield fan. I'm a fan of um, Max and Warren. I'm a fan shopping not with them. You wrote, uh, you wrote a message. 59%. You didn't tamper with the train tracks. I can't see the percentage. And I can't see the percentage for you gain entry to the Vortex Club. You helped Warren. 48%. Uh, pe uh, a lot of people went with you didn't help Warren. So it's, this game is like basically friend zoning Warren, but I want to get him out of that. Um, sorry, us friend zone. Um, 
the title David to Mr. Jefferson is 81%. So let's go and see what's uh, episode 3 like, people. Let's check it out now. Ooh. What was that? Seems like they get caught or something. Well, that was uh, that's a uh, episode three for Chaos Theory for um the sneak peek trailer. It'll be interesting to find out what will happen on in episode three, Chaos Theory. I might uh, broadcast it probably after, or if I don't, I'll broadcast it maybe tomorrow. And this will be me for now. And I'll be signing off and just put a like on my video to tell, uh, tell you what you guys think about this video. If you don't like it, put a dislike. And remember to subscribe to my channel. And this is Wooden Metopia. And I'll be seeing you. Thank you. Goodbye. And ciao.